hook I'm using is a Hanek size 10, checking them for check style, barbless hook. Now I'm going to lead the body, so use some lead foil, stick it back. I'm going to at least lead most of the body, leave a small, sort of 2 to 3mm area at the back, just to help form the taper. Start winding, touching turns up the shank. Just keep going all the way up. Stop it probably a mill or so from the eye, just break it off. Then when you form like a taper, or a better taper into the fly, just going to cut another point at the back. And then start the lead, probably I would say in a 2 mil or 3 mil up from that area. Rub it around, hold it. Work your way up. Okay, and touch and turns and stop it. You want to taper towards the eye and obviously taper towards the back. You could add another layer on. You could as well, if you want the fly to sit a certain way, you could add the lead flat to the top, stick it down so it flips it up. I find they're fine like this. If you're representing like a, a nymph that's swimming to the surface, you can You'll correct the fly with the type of dressing that's on it. Thread I'm using is just a, an olive uni thread and eight O. I'm just going to simply start thread at the eye. Take it down the thorax length or so. And then remove the waste piece. Now for the rib, I'm using this clear nymph wrap by Steve Spartan. It's very good. Just a plastic it's about a medium thickness, you'll see here. Ideal, just to give the impression of cemented body. I'm just catching it on the side and then I'm using that as a guide for the thread. It doesn't have to be perfect at this point, you can cut them down a couple of times. And like just now I'm going to go up, just making sure everything's neat. All the way up and back down. Now you could use a flatter thread like a UTC, it's up to yourself. Now, that's about right. Put that to the side. Now I've got some CDC feathers here. These are dyed. I dyed them chartreuse actually. It's natural feathers dyed chartreuse. It just slightly adds a bit of colour to the CDC feather. And that's going to be like a Gary LaFontaine, where he would use an Antron, I'm going to try the, C the CDC. Now you can see... You can look at it and decide where you like it and try it. I know it works, so you should give it a go. Just traps the bubble, gives a nice shape as well. Now what I've done here is I've drawn back some of the fibres just to reveal. Basically when I pull this tight it should form like a shell type shape like this. Now as I say I've got two feathers here. Catch like two turns and then pull them in and guide them to the area where you want to start. As long as the curve is nearly enough towards the size that you want. And I want it down either side. Now, there's one going your way, and the other one I can twist and bring it the other way. And then, with two or three mil left or so, just tie it, tie it down. And work your way up. And at this point, you should have your wax ready just to wax your thread. Now, I've got the wax on my finger. Just run it through the thread just to make sure everything's nice and tight and bring, bring the thread back down. Now it does pay to blend or mix your own dubbins. Now I've got a nice, a nice olive here which has rabbit SLF synthetic living fibre it's a by Wopsy and I've mixed a, a nice olive through the rabbit and you can see there's a couple of some guard here there as well, which is slightly darker, which is ideal dubbing. I'm just going to lightly add it to the, the thread. Don't be shy with it, just make sure you've got enough on that you can... Basically when I slide 
I'll put the dubbing on. I want to stretch it out, tease it back, tighten up when I want it to form the shape. Like so, I start off quite quite thin, and I start to build up a nice body shape, which is a nice carrot shape. I can twist, do a turn over the last, and keep building up that nice shape. And obviously, the, having the lead underbody it helps as well. Now I, I'm looking for at least half the length. You need half the length for the thorax area and half for the body. And then bring your rib up through. Now the first uh, clear turn underneath the CDC feathers. And then quite close turns. Bring your rib up through. Nice and tight. And across your thread. Trim away the excess. And tidy up. Make sure you've got some wax on your thread. What's that? It's got CDC feather. I'm going to bring it round and use it like it covers all the way around the body. I mean, it hides the body a bit, and it's basically just to trap and trap the air. You don't want it too tight. You want to leave a, a tiny bit of space between the body and the CDC feathers. So you get a nice cover. Just like that. And then on the other side, same again. Try and get them about the same same thickness. And there we are, if you look. And if you feel that one's just slightly too much, like this near side to me, it just needs to pull down a wee touch. And then that'll do it. And then tighten up. Try my your excess. Now it will wear, obviously, if you catch catching fish, the fish's teeth will poo at these, and uh, before you know where they are, it starts to fall to bits. But don't worry about it, because it actually adds to the attraction of the fly, because when these caddis are coming off, they, they really burst open, and uh, gives that impression as well. Now you want to be able to, try to tie this fly without weight as well, with the weight. You need, you need both. Now, I'm, this is basically an underwing, if you want to call it. It's just I'm going to put a hackle on, as well as give the impression of a wing or a wing case. In this case, I'm going to use as a peacock and orange, but this shines through the the hackle. Now what I do is off it to your side first at a slight 45 degree angle, so that it's going down towards the back of the fly get it in line, so if you like that it's in line with the back the back of the hook and you put a small fold into it now what I like to do as well, which I forgot to mention I like to crease slightly the the material just to make it slightly bit more shiny and then repeat this on this my side again catch it on the side at that same angle towards the back of the hook Check the fold and the length. You may have to fold it a couple of times to get it exactly same length. Tie it off. Just check, see how it's what it's like. That's close enough, it's fine. And then tie it down. Get a wee bit more wax. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the same peacock and orange for the thorax cover and I tie it on the top all the way down so that basically when you see it you'll see the orange but when I bring it over for the cover it's a peacock okay just fold it back out the way a small you could use a dyed partridge hackle or in this case I'm just using a wee hen patch this is a wee speckled hen which is ideal, it's a lovely hackle to use, very soft. Now the first thing I do is just remove some of the fluff. Just pull it back. And if you find this is going to get in the way, just trim a bit away. Drop it down. What I'm going to do here is remove, I'm looking at the front of the hackle, and it's the far side, I'm trimming away, because I wind away from myself. Catch in the tip of the hackle, 
Now, as you can see, there's no fibers on one side. Just draw the tip back for security and then remove it. Wind your hackle. You'll find it sits very easy now when you do that. You'll probably only get a couple of turns anyway, so. Okay, across your thread, tie in the stem. As usual, the head down, tidying up. Break it off. And then for the thorax, this is a dark olive. It's a dark olive rabbit mixed again with the same. It's this here, mixed through it, but very lightly done. It's just a slight touch of it. And then, as I say, just dub it on. Now you're looking to taper towards the, the eye. Nice and tight up against that. And then taper your dubbing, as I said, to the boards, towards the eye. Let me drop more. It gives the right nice and shape. We tiny bit more. A wee space there, which I don't like. Let's draw everything back. Okay. If you like these a wee drop more. Don't if you're not happy, just go back. Now I'm putting a wee bit dubbing on. It seems needs a wee drop more in this sort of center area. Better. Then what I do is get the velcro, bring some of the dubbing down either side, bring your thorax cover over, split the fibres from the hackle either side of it, and then do a turn to hold, two just to make sure that looks okay if you see that. Draw it back and then remove the base piece. Uh, give the impression of the horns. It's going to use this as a hen pheasant dyed olive. Take, you can take one from either side, which will give you a right and a left. Oops. That's it. You can have them curving into one another or curving away. It's up to yourself. And you want it a good, a good distance by. You don't want it too long. If you're looking at least twice the length of the, just slightly under or twice the length of the hook. Maybe don't worry too much if they if they're going otherwise. You can. What I normally do is curve them in. And if they're in the water, they're going to curve round anyway, so... And I fold back the ends, these for security. And then, so if I come in with my nail, I can draw these back. And there we are, that's the carrots. All we have to do is put finish off. Just form a nice head using the bit finish. Tighten up. Now, just to enhance the colour of the thorax, what I like to do is get the bug bond. Get your torch ready, because you don't want the, the bug on to move. And I'm going to put it onto the thorax colour. Just lightly. As quick as you put it on, hit it with the light. So it sets and doesn't run anywhere. Basically it changes the... Uh, Thorax cover it lifts it and makes it really shiny, more like a jewel like. And then all I do is varnish, varnish the head all the way around. And there we are. It's good fun, great fly to tie. And uh, as you can see, the difference with the thorax really shines. And as it twists, it catches the light. I mean, the gases build up in the thorax area and really looks good. 
uh, gives that impression basically it busts and open and you see the bug bond sets instant, it's great stuff solid and there you are if you haven't got the bug bond then just build it up with the varnish it'll take a good few coats but anyway hope you enjoyed that and that there's your CDC it's a merger caddis lovely fly to tie certainly worth our space in anyone's fly box Thank mm -hmm. you.